And here we go. There's a lot of trailers coming out in the next few weeks, and I'm gonna review most of them. There's one for Godzilla, there's one for Edge of Tomorrow, there's one for Interstellar, there's a Dawn of the Planet of the Apes trailer that was rated recently. So those trailers are coming soon, but the first one is the Amazing Spider-Man 2 trailer, which came out today. And, ooh, man, there is a lot to talk about in this trailer. Let's go back for a second, because when The Amazing Spider-Man originally came out, I said I loved it, and upon re-watching it, it, it is not that good. It's a good movie, it's an enjoyable movie, but it's not an amazing movie. Moving on from that, I was fairly excited to see the trailer for this movie, because I want to see what they were able to do. I know that Electro was going to be the main villain, but over the past few weeks, they've been announcing all these different villains. Not announcing, but you've heard about God and Rhino and possibly other villains being in the movie so I wanted to see what they were gonna do with this teaser trailer and this teaser trailer feels like a final trailer it just there's so much in it like this the trailer starts off with spider-man jumping off a building and the logo gets cut in and it's really cool moving on from that ugh, god I don't even know where to start let's start with Rhino because when he, I see I saw Rhino in that that poster thing that they released a few days ago, and he looks terrible in it. He looks like a dino bot. It looks stupid. So I wanted to see if, I didn't think they would actually put Rhino in this trailer, to be honest, but I wanted to see maybe if they would show something, and they actually did. They showed his face. I guess he's standing up on two feet. That doesn't really change the fact that he looks dumb. Uh, yeah, they only showed two shots, one of his face and one of his foot, so I really can't say much. And I don't think that's gonna change, because, like, sometimes I'll see certain villain or hero the way they look on set pictures. Like, I thought Jamie Foxx's Electro looked a little bit weird at first, but now I kind of think he looks cool. Rhino, I don't think I'm ever gonna say he looks cool. He just looks completely stupid. That's not how I remember Rhino, but moving on from that, you also get to see some glimpses of Harry Osborn in the trailer, and I thought Dane DeHaan as Harry Osborn in this trailer was the best part of the entire trailer, because I was worried about him going into this, because Dane DeHaan usually plays like, you know, messed up in the head people, and not to say that Harry Osborn won't be messed up in the head, but like, one who's really, uh, down on his look and not rich or anything like that. So seeing him in a different type of role like this I thought was interesting and he did a great job in the trailer. I can't wait to see more of him in the movie. Branching off that, you see glimpses of Goblin in this trailer and that's something I was really interested in because I know they're gonna bring in Goblin but I wasn't sure when. I think he's still only gonna show up by the end of the movie. He's not gonna be throughout. And I paused the trailer at a certain point, and you could see that Dane DeHaan is the one that actually turns into Goblin. Because I stopped the picture at his face, and it looks a lot more like Dane DeHaan than it does his father in the trailer. Up until near the end of the trailer, I was like, where's Electro? He's supposed to be the main villain of this, and he finally got a line at the end of the trailer, and they actually showed more of him as the trailer went on. But I just feel like that this story is going to just jump around too many places because this trailer shows like five subplots. You have Rhino, who Spider-Man's probably gonna fight earlier on in the movie, I would say. You have the whole Electro storyline, which you have to develop a lot. You have to give a lot of time to that in the movie. You have Peter and Gwen's relationship. You have the fact that Peter is now apparently finding out what happened to his father. You have the fact that Oscorp is apparently making every single villain in the Spider-Man universe because they showed that vulture wings and the uh, Dr. Octopus arms. Those were in the trailer too. That's a nice, like, little easter egg thing that probably should have been saved for the movie itself, unless they're planning on bringing those two into this movie too, and Jesus, if they do, I don't know what's gonna happen. I sound like I'm trashing this movie, I've kind of come to realize that now. I still think the trailer was very fun. It, the action looked really cool. I can't wait to see Spider-Man and Electro face off. It looks really... Really cool, except for the last part of the trailer. Like, the last part of the trailer where Spider-Man's going in and out of the coils while Electro's, like, throwing blue bolts of lightning at him. It's not that it looked bad, it just, I could tell, like, this is all CGI, and it just, it... I wish that I was able to not do that. Like, I get that CGI is used for big battles now, but... I don't know, it just kind of bugged me that I could tell it was really just all CGI. I think I've covered all the points in the trailer now, I hope I have, because... There was a lot to cover in this trailer, but uh, I'm going to put the link below if you haven't seen it. Go check it out. Come back. Tell me what you thought of the trailer. Write your beautiful comments down there and tell me what you think. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button down there, because if you don't, I'll turn into Goblin and I'll probably die in the process.